Hey there, soda aficionados and history buffs. Welcome back to Enterprise Epics, where we unravel the epic tales of brands that shaped our world. Today, we're sipping on the fizzy, intriguing saga of 7-Up, the soda that fizzled out from its sparkling zenith. So, grab your favorite drink, and let's bubble into this effervescent journey. In the golden era of soda, the 1940s to 1970s, 7. Up was not just a beverage, it was a cultural icon, sitting comfortably as America's third favorite soda. Imagine a world where Coca-Cola and Pepsi reigned supreme, and there, glowing with a lemon-lime aura, was 7-Up, the Un-Cola. But what's captivating is the roller coaster ride it took from those dizzying heights to its current, more muted presence in the soda aisle. Charles Grigg, the brain behind 7-Up, wasn't new to the soda game. Before birthing, 7. Up in the 1920s, Grigg had already concocted orange-flavored delights like Whistler and Howdy. However, competition in the orange soda sector was fierce, thanks to Orange Crush. This challenge led Grigg to Pavot, to a lemon-lime flavor, a move akin to finding an osis in a dessert. The product stood alone in a market devoid of lemon-lime sodas, giving 7-Up a unique edge. But let's fizz forward to the 1950s, a time when 7-Up teamed up with Disney, introducing Fresh Up Freddy, a rooster who charmed his way into children's hearts. This partnership was a stroke of marketing genius, embedding Seven. Up in the minds of the young, a tactic that resonated through generations. The zenith of Seven Up's fame came in the late 1960s with its groundbreaking Uncola campaign. It was a masterstroke in marketing, resonating with a generation yearning for change and rebellion. The campaign positioned Seven Up as the alternative to the norm, the choice of the free-spirited. The commercials were iconic, especially the one featuring Jeffrey Holder, a significant step as he was the first black actor in their ads. This move was not just about selling soda, it was about making a statement, aligning with the progressive values of the time. However, the effervescence of success began to fade in the 1970s. Enter Sprite. Coca-Cola's lemon-lime response to 7-Up. It was a game-changer, stealing the spotlight and market share. 7-Up's unique selling proposition was no longer unique, and the brand started its slow descent down the ranks. In a twist of fate, tobacco giant Philip Morris acquired 7-Up in 1978. The company, known for boosting brands like Marlboro and Miller, faced an uphill battle with 7-Up. The soda market was fiercely competitive, dominated by giants Coca-Cola and Pepsi. Despite their efforts, 7-Up's struggle only deepened under their stewardship. Fast forward to 1986 when Pepsi nearly bought 7-Up, a deal thwarted by antitrust concerns. Instead, 7-Up found itself paired with Dr. Pepper, forming a new entity. Dr. Pepper 7-Up, Inc. This alliance was a strategic move, but 7-Up continued to play second fiddle to its more dynamic partner, Dr. Pepper. The story took another turn when Cadbury Schweppes acquired the duo in 1995. Ironically, 7-Up was now aligned with Crush, the very brand that had pushed Grigg towards creating 7-Up. Despite this historical full circle, 7-Up continued to lose its fizz in the market. Now, under the Keurig Dr. Pepper umbrella, 7-Up seems like a shadow of its former self, a nostalgic memory rather than a market leader. The brand has been through a whirlwind of changes, from being a health tonic to a symbol of youthful rebellion, only to settle into a quieter role in today's beverage landscape. But here's the twist. While 7-Up's story might seem like a tale of decline, it's also a testament to the ebb and flow of brands in a dynamic market. It shows us how innovation, strategic marketing, and a bit of luck can propel a brand to stardom, and how shifts in consumer preferences and competitive pressures can change the game. If you're loving this deep dive into 7-Up's history and the twists and turns of its branding journey, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Join our Enterprise Epics community for more captivating stories about the brands that have shaped our world. Let's continue our effervescent exploration. 7. Up's journey is not just a lesson in marketing and brand evolution. It's a mirror reflecting the changing tastes and trends of society. It's fascinating how a brand can be so in tune with the zeitgeist at one point, and then seem out of step in another era. This dynamic shift highlights the importance of constant innovation and adaptation in the competitive world of consumer goods. One can't help but wonder, what's next for 7-Up? 
In a market now brimming with options, from energy drinks to artisanal sodas, where does this once popular brand fit in? The challenge for 7up, and indeed for any legacy brand, is to find relevance in a rapidly evolving market while staying true to its roots. Perhaps the future of 7up lies in tapping into the nostalgia it embodies, or maybe it's in reinventing itself for a new generation. The possibilities are endless, and that's what makes the world of branding so exciting. It's not just about the product, it's about the story it tells, the emotions it evokes, and the memories it creates. Did you know that 7up's history is not just about its struggle against the cola giants? It's also a story of innovation and attempts to stay relevant. For instance, 7up introduced 7up Gold in the 1980s, a spiced apple-flavored soda that was a bold departure from its traditional lemon-lime flavor. Although it didn't take off as hoped, it showed 7up's willingness to experiment and push boundaries. Another intriguing aspect of 7up's history is its foray into the world of pop culture. In the 1990s, 7up became synonymous with its cool mascot, Cool Spot. This sunglass wearing red dot from the 7up logo even starred in its own video game, which was quite popular and well received. It was a unique move, blending the worlds of advertising and entertainment, and for a time, it brought a fresh, youthful vibe to the brand. But what about 7up today? In recent years, we've seen a resurgence of interest in retro and vintage brands. There's a certain charm and nostalgia associated with them, and 7up, with its rich history, could tap into this trend. Imagine limited edition cans featuring vintage designs, or special flavors that hark back to its early days. There's potential for 7up to reinvent itself as not just a soda, but as a symbol of simpler, bygone times. Moreover, in an era increasingly focused on health and wellness, 7up could also explore new avenues. How about a line of 7up, branded natural, low sugar or even herbal infused sparkling waters? The brand could blend its legacy with contemporary tastes, appealing to both longtime fans and health conscious consumers. As we look to the future, the story of 7up is far from over. It's a brand with a past rich in innovation, risk taking, and adaptability. The question now is, how will 7up continue to evolve in a market that's constantly changing? Will it return to its former glory or carve out a new niche for itself? These are questions that only time will answer. But one thing is certain, the story of 7up is a fascinating case study in brand longevity, adaptability, and the ever-changing tastes of consumers. So here's to 7up, a brand that's much more than just a soda. It's a slice of history, a lesson in marketing, and a reminder that even the most iconic brands must continually reinvent themselves to stay relevant. Thank you, dear viewers, for joining us on this fizzy adventure through the world of 7up. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. What's your favorite 7up memory? How do you think the brand should evolve? Until next time, keep exploring the fascinating stories behind the brands we know and love. This is Enterprise Epics, signing off.